Okay, so June the 22nd, 2020. I want to give a little update on mainly my garden. Uh, and you can see it over there. That's my greenhouse frame that uh, <laughs> it's taking me a lot longer than I myself or anyone else actually expected me to take. Uh, between some finances and some uh, mistakes I've made on the uh, framework of it, it's taking me a little longer. I'm still uh, correcting uh, some of the things that got out of line on me. So uh, that's real life. Uh, but anyways, it got a little rain this morning. It's humid as all get out out here. But the zinnias are popping. Uh, so I've showed this before. How that I've just got a raised bed garden going down the length and the back width of my greenhouse back there. Which is uh, 40 feet down this side by 3 feet deep on the garden and 18 feet on the back side by the same depth uh, so man look at these this is the first time i've grown these german queen tomatoes and i don't know if that's picking that up but check that out filled my whole hand up and they're just loaded on this plant uh, there's tomatoes everywhere and they're all Pretty nice size tomatoes. The dill has gone to flower. Pretty soon we'll be uh, putting some paper bags so we can collect them seeds, replant that next year. Uh, got our little zinnias all down through here. And here we have our purple basil. I'm fixing to need to snip some tops off of that and uh, dehydrate them, put them back. Our baby bubba okra I started producing and uh, I'm going to come out here in a little bit and harvest some. See right there it's more than ready. So uh, this stuff doesn't get very tall. It's supposed to only get like three or four feet tall these okra plants and I've got them planted down through here. So uh, yeah the uh, cilantro is also going to seed it's flowering and we'll be doing the same thing with it behind here kind of hidden i have some pepper plants and uh they got a little late start so them are uh sweet bananas i have two of them there we have some thai basil here really love this stuff some of you it's either a love or hate relationship with this flavor which is uh kind of a black licorice flavor Oh, look at here. We actually got seed pods going on on the cilantro. Won't be long. We'll be gathering the seeds on that and uh, putting it up for next year. Look at here. Here's a okra flower. Things are really cool. So, anyways, <laughs> I'll step back here and uh, you can see the zucchini and. Uh, squash plants down through there are just humongous but we've had a little trouble this year and i've noticed some other people have talked about having the same thing is an overabundance of male flowers and not really very many female flowers just plant growth and male flowers so not sure what's causing that we have got a few uh fruit off of here and uh so we'll see it's not doing the best it's growing it looks pretty but not what it's about so here we have tucked back in here my habaneros they're getting on there look at here cucumbers whole wall of them here growing vertically won't be long i'll be putting these in separate pots these are some uh, seedling starts of some yellow uh scorpion super hot peppers and here these aren't growing as fast but these are my red scorpion super hots i really love this little pepper here i had some for breakfast this morning with my eggs these are my cayenne peppers and they're everywhere and i like eating these things green i just got to me a good flavor and a good just to right amount of heat for breakfast and uh 
Now this is a volunteer sunflower. Where that sucker come from? <laughs> but there it is. Made itself a spot. Uh, the rest of my tomato plants here. You see one here, Better Boys, and they're all they're all loaded. I have uh, six of these. I have this one. One died out here, and I've got some uh, jalapeno pepper plants that aren't really doing too great there either. Uh, there's two more Better Boys, and around the corner. On the back side, there's three better boy plants, and they're all pretty loaded. Look at here, we got some squash coming on. Hallelujah. Looks like several down in there. So, uh, we had actually planted bush green beans all around the tomatoes and stuff this year to try to, to let them uh, provide some nitrogen fixing to the soil. And uh, we've been picking them like crazy. So they're all in here. There's the there's the little jalapeno plants there. So uh, again, the better boys are just kicking it. Look at this. I mean, them are all pretty nice sized tomatoes there. Big old cluster of what, four there. But they're all. I'm really impressed with my tomatoes this year need to the lemon balms getting shaded out and my there's my rosemary and uh these wild plants here over there and i've got a few more scattered around uh if you don't know what them are they grow wild around here and there's some very nutritious greens these are uh and i just eat them raw while i'm out here lamb's quarters and uh, if you don't know much about them look them up you might want to include them in your garden got some better boys starting to ripen up here and this plant is just loaded I mean, there's everywhere you look so very impressed with my better boy tomatoes this year looking nice so i've got a red uh this pepper plant right here so you can see that much uh red ghost pepper and uh all these super hot peppers i'll i'll dig up put in pots and i'll keep them uh through the winter and put them back out next year uh i've got a yellow ghost pepper that i've done that too and this is its third year and it really does well like that this is our lemon cucumber on this wall here and it's just covered we picked several the other day. Look, there's one there. It's about ready. They're just yellow balls like a lemon, but they're a cucumber. Very good. My, one of my wife's favorite cucumbers. I planted for her. And uh, here's my serrano peppers. Uh, those will be my first ones for the year to pick. I love serranos. They got a good flavor. Use them anywhere I would normally use a jalapeno. Uh, my cherry tomatoes haven't done the best. I've picked quite a few off of this, uh, this super sweet 100 here. Uh, they're not impressing me as much as my big tomatoes, but you see these, these growing clusters. There's a few starting to turn red down in here. But uh, the chocolate, chocolate cherry tomatoes have taken a while to kick off here. And uh, hopefully... Once I reach a certain point, they'll do a lot better. So, uh, my daughter has these arches back here. I don't know if you, the sun's in my eyes. I can't tell what's showing up on the screen. But this is her uh, cantaloupes. She's already started putting one in the stocking here to support it. Little cantaloupes. And uh, growing up both sides of this arch. And then there's another arch. Uh, here that has her cuca melons also called Mexican gherkins or Mexican mouse melons very small we'll see how them are when they get a little older and uh, got a late start this fence here has my Malabar spinach 
starts. I ate some of them with my eggs this morning. Uh, they're finally starting to vine on up. And over on the other fence on the other side, my daughter has her uh, passion vines. And uh, let's see, we got one over here. A little passion fruit started. And her and I both love to eat these passion fruits whenever they're ripe. There's a flower that just got finished. Uh, the flowers are beautiful, very exotic. So, uh, and I won't go over everything. I've got my apple tree, pear tree, apple tree, and down there another pear tree. Uh, all of them have grafts of different varieties on them. I have my blackberries lined up here on this fence. And here's another one of my daughter's projects. A watermelon patch and uh, I've got planted here you can see little starts uh, red okra and uh, I planted successions I had my baby bubba okra planted earlier then I waited several weeks planted these then I waited a few more weeks and planted some more okra I'll show you in a minute uh, she's got she's pretty proud she's got some little watermelons coming on so, uh, doing a good job. There's some great vines going on there that I've got to move out. Pomegranate, which I've done, did a video recently of all these fig trees and these tire pots here, raised beds. These are yard long beans, and I've got another trellis here that these will grow up. The uh, yard long beans are also called asparagus beans. Uh, my little granddaughter helped me plant them. And here's our other okra. Uh, they're about ready to get thinned out. And uh, I'm trying to remember, these are emeralds or something like that. Emerald okra. There's my muscadine. I've got several grape vines that are coming on pretty good this year. Check that out. Lord willing, I'll be able to eat some good grapes. It's another pomegranate bush there. There's some more grapes down here. They're not ready yet, but I'm going to try one of these bigger ones. These do have seeds in them. I can't even remember the variety. Mmm. Not bad if you like them tart. <laughs> They're starting to get sweet, though. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, I mentioned my yellow ghost pepper a while ago. Three years in the run in here. I've been taking it in every year. I just It gets pretty tall, and I just cut it back. It's got little peppers coming all over it. And then I've got down here in pots where... Uh, when I trim it, I put them in pots and root them and get some new plants started that way. Instead of having to start from seed, I just root my cuttings. So, uh, and here we have a little uh, bird's eye pepper. Now these little dudes got some punch in them, especially for the size. Uh, I've eaten them green. They're kind of in the cayenne profile flavor to me in the heat. But uh, I picked one of these green that day. I never had them green. Lit my mouth on fire pretty good. So, uh, that one's, uh, probably, I don't know, it was that size when I got it last year, so I don't know how old it actually is. I got it from, uh, someone else, did some swapping for it, and, uh, come back with a vengeance this year. I took it inside, kept it in a pot. Super hot peppers are good like that. You can just continue several years with them, so... Maybe next time I do a video, I'll be able to show the greenhouse in a little bit better shape. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a good day. God bless.